It was 1970 when Rod Marsh debuted for Australia. Western Australia's top performer was Rodney Marsh, who was chosen to represent Australia. Anyone that can field should be able to keep adequately to a fast bowler. And he's caught as he brilliantly, yes, by Marsh. They called him Iron Gloves, a little unfairly for the man who became one of Test Cricketer's most acrobatic wicket keepers. And that's a brilliant catch, a beautiful catch by Marsh. He was a combative and central member of the dominant Australian teams of the 1970s that played hard and partied hard. Mr Thompson was bowling very fast, very often. When the ball hit Colin, it hurt. Ouch! <laughs> Marsh claimed 355 dismissals, at the time a world record. It was the same number of wickets as those taken by his great friend, Dennis Lilly. And Rodney Marsh appropriately breaks the world wicket-keeping test record off the bowling of Dennis Lilly. Court Marsh bowled Lilly was written 95 times into the scorebooks and remains the record for bowlers and keepers. Court Marsh bowled Lilly, no score. Marsh was a feisty lower order batsman, scoring more than three and a half thousand test runs, including three centuries. His 110 not out in the 1977 centenary test was the first time an Australian keeper had scored a century against England. Rod Marsh has made history in cricket. During that year, Rod Marsh signed with Kerry Packers World Series Cricket and played through the breakaway competition's two seasons. It's very exciting. Uh, you know, I think we've all been waiting for today to occur. Marsh retired in 1984 along with the two other greats of his era. Dennis Lilly and Greg Chappell. Caught by Greg Chappell, there's the world record to Dennis Lilly. It's certainly different uh, playing for Australia with those two not around. After retiring, he played a role nurturing the next generation of Australian cricketers and for a time was head selector. You know, it's nice to have had a bit to do with them, Gillespie and Lee, and you know, they're damn fine players. Rod Marsh would know he was one of the finest.